This is a commutator repair for a Makita 1214FL. Another really important thing you need to do this task is one of these helper dogs here. Um, yeah, you always need your helper dog because she's good luck. Yeah, this is Lily. Well, this is starting a, a bit into the process, but um, this is my Makita LS1214 LR. It's a 12 inch compound sliding miter saw that I've had since 2006, I think. And uh, anyway, uh, it's been wonderful, except that I took it out to use it uh, the other day and it's, it was sparking really bad. Um, so I, <sighs> first thing I do, I check the brushes uh, and I sand, they were kind of manked up, so I sanded them down. Uh, and then I tried it again, and you can see the commutators eating into the side of the brush there, chewing into the carbon. So I, uh, I used some bamboo skewers, and I tried uh, cleaning out between these plates on the commutator. And, and that didn't, eh, it helped a little bit, but the symptom is the sparking real bad and uh, the engine brake, the motor brake isn't working. So the thing runs for like two minutes um, when, you, when you're done. And I don't like that blade going like that. Boy, this bearing feels great. So I went online to buy a new commutator thinking it was like 50 bucks, new uh, armature. You have to buy this whole assembly. Um, they're maybe discontinued. There's some people that allegedly have them that want 160 to $220 for them. So, I figure the next step is I'm gonna try sanding this, these plates of this commutator, making it smooth. See, it's pretty bad right in there. And uh, we'll see if this poor thing can't come back to life. Cause you see internally, it looks great, except for that, except for that commutator. So, yeah, so <clears throat> what I had in my, in my uh, storage was some, uh, this 1000 grit, 3M wet or dry. Um, it's used for like paint work. But uh, can't be too gentle with a commutator. So it's going to be super. See, that looks, it's like slightly coarse paper. Um, and uh, I just, you know, I'm just going to sand this poor thing down. Here's my cool technique here. I hold the thing, hold the blade with my knee. And then I can just sort of rock this guy back and forth. And uh, this is seriously like, you know, maybe two minutes uh, and it's shining right up. You can see there's a, there's a rough spot here. And then if we turn 180, there's no more rough spots. It's, so it's really just this one one area here and it, you know that's that's still just carbon so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna keep spinning it with the sandpaper with a thousand grit until it's all shiny and then I'm gonna use my bamboo skewer and I'm gonna clean out in between these plates so here we go like uh, I don't know five more minutes of just really gently polishing it and uh, Looks like, you know, it's in pretty good shape now. It's a question of how the brushes like it. But uh, now I gotta sand the brushes down and then put the thing back together. Um, one hot tip is uh, this enclosure, if it's resisting you uh, coming off, it's because you need to take the brushes out. Um, when the brushes are in there, uh, it'll the brushes will hang up on this on this plastic ring here. So, and I would like to have a look inside here and see the transmission, but I don't see an easy way to get in there. So I guess I'll just leave it alone until there's a problem. There we go. Another look yeah. uh, at exactly what the problem was. Um, we're looking at the commutator. You can see how it spins. I've just sanded it and uh, cleaned out, uh, and uh, so it looks really good. Um, I'm just spinning the blade here with my fingy, 
and you can see this is where the brushes go. So I'm making this after having fixed the commutator and uh, this is just instructions on how to take it apart. So um, first of all, you don't have to take the end cap off because there's nothing in there. You do have to take the brushes out and for that you need a flathead screwdriver. Uh, there's four bolts around the base of the motor uh, and for that you need a big Phillips head. Uh, and I went ahead and took all the, the bolts off around the handle because I didn't know what I was doing. You don't need to do that. Um, what you do need though is right here, there's a plate. Inside there's a connector. Uh, so you take this off and this big plastic piece falls out and you'll see that there's a, two wires and a connector. And uh, when you, after you undo those four screws, this whole assembly just lifts straight off. Oh, and you have to take the brushes out, like I said. Uh, and at that point, um, you can, you'll have space to undo the connector and then you can lay this aside and the whole armature's exposed. All right, I got it all together. And uh, so now we got the moment of truth. Um, I'm gonna film in here and see what it looks like. sparking a little bit but I think that's pretty normal I think it looks really good before the sparks were just huge on both sides um, the motor brake worked but it seems like it took a little long to kick in I think it used to do that but I don't remember I don't remember what the stock behavior is but anyway I'm kind of impressed I'm glad I saved myself my $200 for a new uh, for a new armature um, just by sanding the commutator so, yeah, this worked really well. Bye-bye.